So, Pat. <gasps> yes, sir. What's what's your favorite kind of motorcycle? Um, my favorite kind is a Harley Davidson because they're made in America, where it, it, where motorcycles are our pride and our joy. The end. You know what Wait, I like? Wait, you killed that guy? Yeah, I killed I killed the uh, the boss. I am not paying any attention. Yeah, I know. I'm used to it. Mm -hmm. Do you think anyway, if the joke if the Joker's do you think if the Joker's sidekick killed someone whose last name was Davidson, her mm. name would be Harley Davidson? Um, I mean, there, there's a chance. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I guess I, I I I'm not sure. That was that, that was the most real. <laughs> that was Patrick was like, shit. Brian's joke wasn't funny. How do I make it funny? <laughs> Uh, and then there's just like nothing came up. Yeah, just I don't know what to say. Would you quit dropping your sword and throwing it and shit? Shit's dangerous, dude. Didn't your mom ever tell you not to throw scissors? No, Fuck. my mom's dead. Mm. Which is why my dad's too. death hurt me all the more. <laughs> I'm basically Batman. <laughs> Holy shit, you're the king, dude. Oh my god! <laughs> you, 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 but you, but seriously, you gotta stop throwing that sword, dude. You're hurting people. They kill well, them the old-fashioned way. <laughs> I mean, that's sort of the point, though, isn't it? Is he just talking on his phone? He's like, hold on, hold on, just one sec, I'll be right off the phone. And then he cut his head off. You he was, uh, have He was no calling manners. for help on a walkie-talkie, is what he was doing. Mm. The likely story, is that how you justify it? Uh, I called timeout, and you just killed him. Well, I mean, ninjas don't play by any rules, dude. I mean, obviously. With no parents to teach you the right way. <laughs> I mean... Fucking, it's no wonder you don't have... Thank God. <laughs> Thank God you're dead because a, a ninja with no manners has no place in this world. God. Shit. Here's the thing, though. Did you see that jump arc? There was an advertised jump arc. It was like, oh, you will go here. And then I did it, and I just, like, stood there and got shot. And it was like, jump into death. All right. Well, there's a, a tool tip in this game that comes up where it says literally just yeah. the jump arc is a lie. Um, which I think was the, the programmers making a joke about how the, the jump arc was not consistent. I wonder if that. I wonder if they could have like addressed it, or if, or if it was just. I, I don't even want to say it's too unpredictable, because how the hell can you make a jumping system where it follows an arc, but you don't know where the arc's gonna be? Yeah, there's just no way. And now we've got chanting. Dude, this game's got it all, dude. It's got fucking like like soulful singing in the background with like the. You know, like the gentle beat and the whatever that instrument is. I'm actually trying really hard to place that instrument now. It's definitely a bongo phone, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> it's like a sitar or something. It's not. It's it's like if you combined a xylophone and a bongo. Dude, like, if you oh, wanted it might to be a smoke marijuana drum. while traveling, do you think you would have to take a bong? go dude that was too fucking good i'm gonna need you to slow down <laughs> take a deep breath <laughs> okay you've been fighting a lot of guys today <laughs> bongo <laughs> oh, God. Uh, i feel like that could work like that that joke it, the execution wasn't there now but it could be. Like, I, I think it could use a little bit of a workshop, but otherwise it's like, it's there. Like, the humor think? is there, it just needs to be pulled out. You, you know how, like, uh, in uh, English, when you are wishing someone well when they're leaving, you say, yeah. uh, like, have a good one or whatever, or like, goodbye, yeah. rather? Um, do you think in French, the, the equivalent is bon go? Yeah. <laughs>
I like how I mean, you're trying to laugh and it's just turning into like frantic panting like shit his jokes are terrible today what are we gonna do it's cause <laughs> Jesus I'm trying not to cough but it's fucking do you have pneumonia are you my grandma <coughs> I might I might be dying dude uh call a doctor get him in here okay oh jeez dude it's oh man what do you think do you think if ash had chosen a pokemon mm -hmm. and then then named it bon when he shouted that he should release it from his pokeball he might have yelled bongo <laughs> again <clears throat> trying not to go <laughs> <laughs> it's fine i know how it is i see oh man how many more bongo puns do you have in your back pocket, you be honest with me? Well, honestly, uh, I literally, I like to say I'm a software engineer, but my main job is full-time sit around and think about bongo puns, so <laughs> quite a lot. I wouldn't At hold your breath At least that's better your than, your, uh, than your last set of jokes <laughs> that you, like, those? last week apologized for. You were like... Uh, listen, um, I'm glad, uh, or I'm done with that particular phase. I'm oh, sorry that right. I was going through it. <laughs> this is, oh, this God. is funny. Oh, man. Wait, this is a test chamber? All this time they've been tested, they knew? Is this an inside situation? Uh. Oh, my God. When do you become a disgusting... Oh. Never. So. I'm never gonna become yeah, a just, disgusting yeah. nutsack. Yeah. <laughs> There's a, a cool thing about this disgusting nutsack with a goddamn with a sword just sticking out of it somewhere, oh, and that's a motorcycle helmet just shoved in, like just on top. <laughs> God. The the person I'm trying to kill right now is named yeah. Wise Gal, which I think is one okay. of the best fucking names. <laughs> Wise gal. It's like wise guy, but gal, because... Yeah, because she's the brains behind the operation. She also runs a sick-ass nightclub with the best video game music I've ever heard. Uh, Wait, so she's not in this building? No, this is... So, whenever I go... Here, here's how the levels work. There's there's two okay. lead-up levels for every person I want to kill. Okay. Um, and it's like, I hack intel from these places about where the people I'm trying to kill are located, basically. Oh, okay. And this is one of the places where I'm just hacking to find out where Wise Gal's hiding. Damn and it. is it, like, between the phases or the waves of guys that you have to find, like, a computer or something? Uh, no, no there's only a set number of guys. Uh, I just have to hack every oh, computer. Each, each computer has, a, has an associated letter. I see. <laughs> Yes, exactly. What? In the building, there's a computer right there that says B, and above it was one that said D. Oh, did you I, I actually never noticed that. <laughs> I thought you were trying to make a joke about, like, why do you have to hack so many different computers to get just, like, the location of a place? Is it just, like, every computer contains a single letter? And I was like, dude, you're reaching for that one. Yeah, no, I, it just actually had a letter. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Because I was trying to figure out how you knew that you got all the intel. Oh, there's a tooltip at the top left. Oh, that's even easier. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, Put that away, man! Gun. And now he's dead, it's fine. Okay, that is another thing. It fucking showed a fist, and then he stomped him. How am I, what, am I supposed to believe these lies? <laughs> is this game anything besides lies? No, it's all lies. Oh, this is good elevator music, though. Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> it's just a regular ass elevator. <laughs> I just have to wait in the elevator, dude. That's just part of the game. <coughs> okay, this is where Wait, shit gets hard. You? Oh my god, the, the great reveal. The hero emerges. That man can't shoot. Okay. Yep. This is so Doing a good job. Uh, I need that sword, bro. I need to get my sword back. Yeah, well, you're gonna have to get through that man first. 
Okay. This is the part you say, no, you know. well, you should stop throwing it around then. No way, dude. Throwing it's cool. It is cool. Definitely. It, you, you've, you've thrown it. it. It's worked out great every time. <gasps> it's worked out pretty okay, though. Wait. So what's the... What's the red... Oh, it like shows you the direction of all the enemies. Which thing? The thing around you, the like red circle. It, uh, has little, it has little like rays that point out at all the enemies that are still alive. I, I, oh, dude, you're fucking way more observant than me. I never noticed that shit. Ganks, I'm pretty good at video games. <laughs> oh my god, I hate you. <laughs> oh man. So now my question is, do we play Hitman immediately after this? Why? Because, you know, it's the same exact game and, and people hate, uh, people hate unique content. That's true. I'm just gonna Wait. die here. Yeah, what, yeah. what, when did you set off an alarm? When you walked through Okay, that so, door? it's like, a it's like, a Red Dead Redemption style, where if someone sees you commit a crime and you kill every single person who saw you do it, the crime never happened. Okay. So, um... So it's like effectively a time limit. But yeah, but, well, it's like if if I if they if enemies can see me, they spend their time shooting at me, and if I break line of sight from the enemies, they start trying to call for help. So I have to kill. Oh, I see. The, yeah. And there's the orange phone for that guy's fucking calling. You need to get him, like, get on him. Yep. And at the top it says lockdown and six because that's you don't want you don't want that shit to go bad. It'll spoil if you leave it too long. Right, yeah, it's like leftovers. Yeah, it's like leftover macaroni. Like, you know that shit's gonna start getting hard in a couple of days. Yeah, dude. Yeah, but you still dude, my girlfriend hates macaroni. leftovers. Yeah, well, your girlfriend, you know, has a lot of problems. She really does, man. <laughs> That's not true. Your girlfriend is very sweet and also very problematic and needs to get, you know, needs to... You know what I mean? I thought I did, and then you said some weird shit about her being problematic, which was sort of a weird sentence. <laughs> I said your girlfriend is problematic, and then I motioned like a cutting at the neck thing. Oh, just a word. Okay. Fucking, uh, you were fucking laser focused on not being shot. That's so, true. If you die now, <laughs> you are messing Ooh, man. with me. You're messing with me at this point. <laughs> Look, dude, I'm trying. Get I'm it. trying really hard. That guy's like, damn it. Well, I almost got him. That counts. <laughs> oh, man. Too fucking real, dude. You're I don't know who has, so much I don't know who has worse aim. These guys or us when we play H1Z1. You know, you make a good point. We're pretty bad at H1Z1. But see, I don't know. We have bad aim in that game, but I think it's also partially the fact that uh, everybody on there has ungodly good aim. That's true. Like, like I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do in that game. Like, uh, is that a? Is, oh, that's a hologram of you. I thought that it was like a guy, like on the floor, like jacking it. Like, <laughs> like do, do you see the thing bouncing up and down? And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What's wrong with you? What is- is it a little hologram? It's a hologram I dropped of myself to trick them into thinking I was still there. It's a thing I can do. It's a power oh, I got. Okay. There's- 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 there's perks and there's like skill trees and stuff in this game. It's good. Yeah. Can you make it look a little less jack offy next time? Uh, yeah, I that's- mean, that's you know, the like, next perk cool, on the tree. It's a- I mean, it's a cool skill and all, but like, you know, it, you gotta, yeah, the, you gotta reduce the jack offiness of it. It's definitely a real, it's definitely a real skill in the tree. The the actual perk name is less less uh, spunky junk. <laughs> oh man, you're welcome for that, by the way. Dude, get that intel. This one's not labeled with a letter, so you'll never know if you have all the intel. You're dead because. Maybe because that guy. No, he was calling for help, so I had to. I had to get line. I had to make it so that he had line of sight on me again. Oh, he was. But he was so far away. Yeah. 
He saw me through like a, a window or something. Oh, okay. There was a lockdown in X seconds remaining. Showing up. Yeah. Fuck this guy. Right. Good, now you have an escape. Okay. <laughs> that I guy hope he is dies very from gone. <laughs> now he just like takes the elevator back up. <laughs> Like, sure, I wish they didn't him. make me. I wish they didn't charge me quarters for to use the employee elevator. Uh -oh. <laughs> Why don't they have a fire escape that I could have climbed up? I would much rather have done that. Um, it's just not. Re it's just not really fair. If you want your employees to show up for work on time, you should. You should give them free elevator access. You know. Yeah, exactly, dude. I had to stop by my bank just to get spare change. It's like where you used to work that you had to park like a mile away God. and then take a shuttle or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, like, that's what like, they joked about. They originally, like before I ever started working there, the parking lot for the lab used to be like right outside. Yeah. Right outside the lab, and then you would just park and walk in, and then, and then they put they built like a new like wing of the hospital there over our old parking lot, so we had to like park on the other side of that wing. And then yeah. it further expanded out more to where that parking lot was. So it literally, the parking lot kept getting further and further away. And then they always, all the lab employees would joke and say like, You know, I, uh, I heard that they're gonna have us park in the next city over and then just take a bus to get in now. <laughs> but really, how much of a joke was that? Like, you Not know, that, that the administration joke. was like, Do you think we could? Do you think we could? Think we, do you think we could charge for the shuttle? Do you think we could charge them for the shuttle, their entire paycheck? How, how much of their paycheck do you think we could get? Oh God. It's too fucking real. That's like a, That's a place I used to work that uh, they discouraged you from going out to lunch. They were like, you should really, you know, use the, the on-site, like, cafeteria and, you know, is... A more, it's a healthier alternative, but also, you know, it, like, doesn't break your workflow. And so it was, like, highly encouraged, but then you go to the cafeteria, and it was, like, three times as expensive as anything, like, that you would buy outside of work. Yeah, dude. And I was like, <laughs> so... Where is... Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I would not... You would not believe how much I was being charged for shitty hospital food. <laughs> At like, my last place of work. Like it's, it's like, what? <sighs> like, isn't that the whole benefit of, like, having, like, a cafeteria at your place of work? Is that it's supposed to be, like, a cheaper alternative? Or, like, mm. it's supposed to be, like, another resource on top of, like, the many benefits that your work offers? I don't think Maybe? That. Just, it's just... It seems silly to me to offer a cafeteria that's then not competitive. <laughs> like, or better in any regard. Like, the food was shittier and it cost more. That's true. Like, the only convenience was that you didn't get to leave work during lunch, which is that a convenience? No. <laughs> not really. A let's, let's bitch about lunch some more, dude. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my, my least favorite thing about lunch is how... One time I uh, bought uh, buffalo wings at the cafeteria and they charged me $13 for six wings. Can you believe that? That is really, that, that is actually really <laughs> terrible. I know, right? How big were these wings? I don't know, but it's not even like, it's it, it, it was intent, like, dude, you, you're like, you're like, maybe they just gave you too few or like maybe they were wrongly sized. No, they did this shit by weight. They were like, yep, this is exactly the amount we're going to overcharge him per wing. <laughs> per ounce. Someone was paid to do that math. <laughs> They're like getting out the little scale and like shaving off like parts of the chicken wing so that they can screw you extra hard. <laughs> <laughs>